I want to go to my next guest. See, I'm County Market Watcher Dave Maney. And Dave, one of the things we were mentioning these Democratic senators who might or might not vote for this. I'm reminded of Senator Heidi Heitkamp, who said, you can make a tax plan without helping the rich. Uh, obviously, her thinking now, this is tilted. Whatever Republicans finally come up with at this point, tilted toward the rich. Her opinion. Joe Manchin, another Democrat, West Virginia. Uh, it can't be tilted to the rich. Right now, this is tilted to the rich. So something has to be done there to get their votes. Or do Republicans go through hoops to, to try to get support like that and end up ticking off their own a base. I don't know. You, you certainly would like to see, for once, someone reach across the aisle just a little bit, even if it's only to two senators across the aisle, and just say, what does this need to look like to have your support? Because we'd rather not have another Affordable Care Act vote on the other side, where, it's all, where it looks like it's a pile on completely from one party and therefore feels illegitimate in some way and therefore gets repealed the moment that somebody has the ability to repeal it. You would love to see something that felt like maybe we should do something that sort of feels right for, for actually what's right for the economy and right for Americans sort of broadly. To me, a couple of minor tweaks would be worth, I mean, it would be worth making a couple of minor tweaks to get that across the aisle support. Dave, what is your sense of the market tax cuts notwithstanding and, and how this run has been nonstop and we're now, you know, not that far away, a couple of months from the nine year anniversary of this bull market. While not a record, it is certainly one of the more prominent um, achievements. What could undo it, in your opinion? I, besides sort of these black swan events, I know that we don't see coming, but oftentimes in retrospect, if we had opened our eyes, we did. Um, what, what, what do you say? It seems to me that we're in certain ways sucking demand out of the equation. The, the internet has a very interesting way of, of pulling out the need for more stuff. It allows us to share more things, meaning we don't all have to have a car if Uber exists. We don't all have to have you know new office space if we can go do a WeWork or some other kind of facility that allows us to sort of come together. So in my opinion, there's an interesting technologically enabled sort of demand weakness that's rubbing underneath the surface. And if it ever really starts to show in kind of revenue, you know, a failure to grow revenue, I would worry that that could weaken some of the building blocks. You've got a dividend yield of 3.9% right now, right? Which is kind of the inverse of the PE ratio. And when you say it that way, the, the historical average is in the high 6% range. So you kind of look at it and you say, all right, it's weak already. And if I see something that makes me feel that there's really a, a structural weakness under there, which there might be, then that's the kind of thing that, absent the black swan thing, could start to peel things back quickly the wrong way. You know, a, a lot of folks, they say it, the market's either rich or very rich. Uh, the, the rich crowd say, not too, too rich, not too, too wacky. Uh, the very rich crowd says, yeah, very, very wacky, like October 87, correction time wacky. Um, what do you say? I, I, it doesn't feel wacky to me like i get it i get where we've gotten to as, as you and i have talked about before the information revolution does drive efficiency and efficiency does drive earnings and so you're seeing healthy earnings the risk is that if anything starts to taint that if you see it some you know if it stretches beyond the cost side which is where corporate america has deployed that information technology that's where i worry that you could see things going badly all right, interest rates right now, um, they're going to tick up. Obviously, the Federal Reserve keeps hiking rates, whether it includes Janet Yellen now or her successor with someone else later. Uh, but the markets seem to be taking that nicely. Uh, what do you think? I think they are taking it nicely. One of the reasons I think they're taking it nicely is because it is better to have a healthy financial ecosystem than one that in effect has one sharp vector, i.e. there's no yield I can get anywhere, then I better pile into equities. I think everybody, what, what everyone wants to see is, yeah, that might make sense for equities here, but then I've got to be an incredibly smart market timer. I've got to be clairvoyant to hit that one vector as opposed to feeling like I am in a more Goldilocks situation things are kind of right and clearly the the yield picture that we've had with the aggressive interest rate policy of the fed for a long time is distorting things there's no kind of question to that if you can ease that distortion i gotta think that makes a, a better financial world for everybody all right dave great seeing you again my friend thank you so much